Hello and welcome back. So today I want to talk about Apple CarPlay units again. Uh, well, you know, Apple CarPlay Android Auto units. But for the purposes of this, you know, video, I'm just going to say Apple CarPlay. You know, Apple is what I what I use. Um, reason for the video? Um, you, obviously, these you know units, you you know, such as this, the copyright you know 702 uh the you know chiggy and other units are they seem to be getting quite you know popular now um but with some of the cheaper brands um they there are some inherent you know issues people seem to be facing specifically with audio problems um so if that is something you're interested in then you know stay tuned um, I'm going to explain the issue, uh, or at least the issue as I see it, and also how I personally work around it. As ever, please consider hitting like and subscribe, it really helps. Um, so yeah, let's get on with uh, explaining what the issue is. So I spend a lot of time on the, you know, Facebook groups uh, and other forums, and there is a lot of topics regarding the, you know, copyright, the jiggy, etc. And a lot of people seem to be switching over. Um, but one recurring issue I keep, you know, seeing is when I use it, the CarPlay works absolutely fine you know, maps, everything like that. But audio playback is either terrible or um, the connectivity, you know, drops. Um, so that is the main subject of the video. Although at the end, there is a bit of a bonus, you know, fix for BMW users specifically. Um, although this could, that fix could probably be applied to other, you know, scenarios. But Stay tuned, that'll come out at the end. But for now, I just want to tackle um, the issue of poor audio quality uh, or no audio on some of these, you know, some of these CarPlay units. Typically, a lot of these units, they want you to pair your mobile phone to the unit, which obviously activates CarPlay. And by its very nature, CarPlay wants to send all of all of the audio over over to the unit. And a lot of these units, the CarPuride that I have here, and also the OREX that I have, they provide a secondary Bluetooth channel for you to pair your headset, like this one, which for me is the Cardo Pattort Bolt. Now, when it works, it works great. However, a lot of people, myself included, have had issues where the audio has, you know, lagged, it's, you know, stuttered, it's dropped out, it's been poor quality. I have had issues, you know, with this on pretty much every unit that I've used, uh, which now is three different ones. And when it works, it's fine, but I've had people say they can't hear me if I'm on, if I'm, if I'm on a phone call. I've had the audio sort of, you know, drop out um be very laggy and it's overall not been the best experience now uh, i'm going to put a diagram up now which you know illustrates the typical way in which most of the companies that make these want you to actually pair you know everything so you will you will see that a bluetooth uh, link is established from uh, the phone to the unit this then switches over to Apple CarPlay, uh, which I believe is done over a Wi-Fi link. Um, and then they want you to pair your headset to the unit. Now, like I said, the issues that I have had have been poor audio. The audio is sort of ground to a hole, almost like it's sort of buffering. However, there is a way to pair, to leave your headset paired directly to your phone and just have your phone paired to your to your CarPlay unit, uh, such as the diagram on screen now. Now, what um, what some manufacturers have done 
I believe Chiggy have done this. I can't confirm that, but my understanding is they have. And also, and or and also copyright is they have given you the option so that you can have the audio being passed from your phone to the CarPlay, you know, screen so that you can then, you know, relay that to your headset. But they've also given you the option to switch that part off. So all that happens is the Apple CarPlay or Android Auto part for the screen mirroring gets sent to the screen, but all of the audio still gets passed to your headset. And for me, on on you know this uh, the copyright W702 it works in that mode it works absolutely flawlessly um, it means I get you know Siri working fine which I didn't previously have working and it keeps the entire you know setup incredibly simple so doing it that way so that only the screen mirroring gets sent to the unit is in my humble opinion, the, the, the best option. However, some units don't actually give you that option. They, the, they insist that when, when the CarPlay or Android Auto is activated, all of the audio gets sent to their screen. And if you don't have your headset paired to it, you have no audio. Um, I believe Android users can do something with this that Apple users can't. Um, but obviously, for the purposes of, of this, I'm just going to deal with, you know, iPhones. So what if you're in a situation that you have one of these CarPlay units, you love it, the actual screen mirroring works fine, but the audio quality is absolute rubbish. And they don't give you the option to um, switch you know, switch it so that the audio doesn't get, you know, relayed there. Well, I have a solution. I say I, I'm probably not the only person that's a actually come up with this, but it involves an app that a lot of people don't seem to know much about uh, or don't use very, you know, frequently. And it's been in iOS for a while now, and it's called the Shortcuts app, um, which within that app, you can create automations and shortcuts that will you know run and activate based on certain cry based on certain criteria okay so um what i'm going to show you is how to create an apple shortcut and an or and an automation so that if you have a have one of these apple carplay units and it requires you to have your headset paired to it in order for you to get audio uh, I'm going to show you how to, you know, set up a shortcut so that you can keep your headset paired directly to your phone, still enjoy audio, and everything works absolutely fine. Okay, so what I've got here is I've got the OREX unit, which uh, unfortunately this this requires you to have your headset paired straight to it in order to get audio. So I'm going to screen record this rather than try to try to put the phone in front of in front of the camera so on in this configuration i do not have uh you know any i can play aud uh, audio and it will actually come out of my headset because i have my headset paired straight to my phone and if i look in the settings here it says that the audio is coming out of my pack talk too Okay, so that is absolutely fine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pair it to the OREX. So, you know, purely to be clear, this isn't a problem with OREX, you know, specifically. Um, no hate there. Uh, the audio actually worked absolutely fine on this unit 80% of the time. Um, but it's the 20% that really, you know, frustrates you if it, you know, lets you down. So... What we're going to do is we're going to pair to the OREX. So let's do that now. Accept, allow, connect to CarPlay, and hopefully, and there we go. So you can probably just about see on the OREX, we now have Apple CarPlay. Brilliant. 
However, my headset is still paired directly to my phone. But if I look in audio sources now, I, you will see that on here, there is a big CarPlay option and it is, you know, sending the audio to Apple CarPlay. Now I could obviously change this if I really, re if I really wanted to over to the pack talk. However, I'd have to do this every time I switch the bike on, every time I go in to put fuel in and I switch it on again. Not very convenient, but there is a, you know, solution. If you want to cut the CarPlay unit out of the equation from an audio, from an audio point of view completely, and they don't, you, you know, let you have the option to switch it yourself like you do on, on the Carpy Ride and the Chiggy. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into the Apple Shortcuts app and you are going to create a new shortcut and we're going to call this shortcut um, CarPlay Audio Change. Okay, you can call it anything you like. Okay, and then in the actions we are going to, add, I'm going to add a weight. Now that isn't strictly speaking necessary um, most of the time for me, it works without adding a weight in, but I'm going to add a weight in of three seconds. And then I am going to um, search for change, change playback destination. And then I'm going to set the playback destination to the pack talk to. Now, for for the headset to show in this list, it must be on and paired. So if it doesn't show, it's because you either haven't switched it on or it isn't paired to your phone. So I'm going to say that. So all I have now is it is an Apple shortcut that says wait three seconds when I run this and then switch the switch the audio source to my headset. That simple. Hit done. So as you will see, it's the audio is still going out via the, via the uh, CarPlay, but if I run the shortcut, it will wait for three seconds. And then if we look, the audio is now going to the pack talk. Simple. Now that's half of it. We need that to run um, automatically. So what we're going to do here now, I appreciate if you have CarPlay in your car, you might think this will interfere with it. Well, it won't because unless the pack talk is switched on, the automation won't run. And if you're in your car, I imagine you don't have your helmet on with your, your headset on. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create an automation, new automation, and we're going to search for CarPlay. It was in that list anyway. So when CarPlay connects, we want to change it to run immediately. I have it set to notify, so I know that it's happened. And then we are going to search my shortcuts for CarPlay audio change. So let's go into the automation, run immediately and notify me when CarPlay connects do CarPlay audio change, simple as. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to, I'm going to disconnect uh, the power for the OREX briefly. Just wait a moment. And the audio source is still uh, to my pack talk, which is great. And then we're going to power the OREX on. And what we're going to see is briefly the audio source will switch over, switch over to CarPlay. And there we go. CarPlay connected, running your automation. And we have the audio source over to the, over to the pack talk. It is as simple as that. And I've been using 
uh, I used this OREX unit for about a week while I was while I was reviewing it and you, you know you know doing it this way worked absolutely flawlessly every time I used it for the carpi ride before they brought out the option in a in a later software update to switch the audio from being sent over to the over to the over to the carplay unit but that is literally everything okay so for a little bonus um if you happen to be uh, a BM, 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 BMW owner like me and you have you have you have your carplay you know audio working absolutely fine uh, with or without my you know shortcut and or automation you may still have the issue that you like like to connect your phone to your BMW bikes you know screen so that you get the BMW connected app for ride recording etc which I do it's not the best it doesn't always record every ride you know sort of perfectly but if you do if you if you have all of this here working fine but you also still want to get that um ride recording um there is there is there is a problem so let me let me switch the bike on to try to illustrate it so while if, while everything is you know firing up um i'll show you the issue in a moment but what effectively happens is even if you have the audio being passed directly from your phone to your headset and just using this for for the, uh, the CarPlay, if you then link your mobile phone via Bluetooth to uh, the TFT, it will then grab the audio. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a very similar, you know, shortcut and automation. Um, so let me start screen recording uh, again so I can show that. So everything's hooked up and at present, as you can see here, uh, the audio, because my phone is linked to the bike, uh, the audio is being passed over to the BMW, you know, you know, screen. But I don't have a headset paired to uh, the BMW and I don't want it to have any involvement with the audio. So what we're going to do is we we don't need to create another shortcut. All we're going to do is create another automation. So instead of CarPlay this time, we're going to say when, uh, let me see if I can remember it. Yeah, Bluetooth, when, so the the bike will have to be switched on so that it uh, so that it's actually uh, connected and in the list of options. But when there it is BMW Motorrad three zero four seven zero, when that connects, uh, run it immediately. Next, run CarPlay audio, CarPlay audio change. And then what will happen? Ah, the so you'll have to excuse. I'm I'm trying to trying to illustrate all of this not on my main phone, but an old iPhone 11, which is kind of playing playing me up slightly. Hence, this has just dropped out. This that isn't the fault of the copy ride. That is purely this old crap phone. So now we have the automation. You know, obviously nothing is at is actually happening. Everything is still going to the BMW bike. So we're going to switch the bike off and we're just going to wait for a moment. As you can see, the audio has dropped, dropped back over to the pack talk, which is, which is fine. And then we're going to switch the bike on again. I'm going to ignore the carpet ride screen for the moment. Like I say, um, slightly embarrassing, but that isn't the fault of the unit. It is definitely this old iPhone 11. I should probably have used my, my regular iPhone 15 for this test, but so there you will see the audio is still going to the, uh, the, the still going to the pack talk, and if you can see there on the screen, the BMW hasn't quite yet. There you go, it's starting to search for Bluetooth, and then on the screen, there we go, running my automation. Go away, Siri. 
shouldn't keep saying her name. And then if we look, the audio is with the pack talk. So in this in in this entire you know setup, these two or these two automations and this one single shortcut will ensure that the audio is always passed to your headset and never to either the, the Apple CarPlay screen, whichever brand you have, or if you are like me, a BMW user and you want to pair to this as well, it will always make sure that your headset uh, is actually getting the audio and you won't have to do anything. So hopefully that has been helpful. Um, I know it's not the most exciting of you know subjects, but I do see a lot of I do see a lot of comments about it on you know different groups. Um, I I thought I would share my solution. I know I've probably not explained it in the most succinct um, and exciting way, but um, as you can you know hopefully you'll be able to see from. Um, from the screen recordings it is incredibly simple had i just done the shortcut and the two automations back to back it that process would probably have taken all of two minutes um so yeah thank you for watching hopefully this has been useful like i say please consider hitting the subscribe button it really helps and if you have any questions you know apple carplay units seem to be my thing at the moment um if you have any questions drop them down below and uh i'm happy to help